Letting number 8639 Penrose Park Comfort Station, 4200 North Kings Highway. We have five bids. Codwell Contracting <coughs> Company, C A L D W E L L Contracting Company, three hundred eighty six thousand one hundred two dollars. Three eight six one zero zero two point zero zero. Jackson Building Group Inc. J A C K S O N Building Group Inc. Four hundred nine thousand two hundred dollars. Four zero nine two zero zero point zero zero. Hoof Construction Inc. H O F Construction Inc. Three hundred twenty eight thousand six hundred twelve dollars. Three two eight six one two point zero zero. Supplied Industrial Solutions Inc. S U P P L I E D four hundred eighteen thousand one hundred seventy two dollars four one eight one seven two point zero zero. Ben Her Construction Company B E N Her Construction Company three hundred eighty six thousand five hundred seventy three dollars three eight six five seven three point zero zero. Letting number 8640, North Broadway Improvements, Thrush to Walter Avenue. We have five bids. T-G-B, Inc. T, period, G, period, B, period, Inc. Two million one hundred ninety seven thousand six hundred seventeen dollars and fifteen cent two one nine seven six one seven point one five R. V. Wagner, Inc. R. V. W. A. G. N. E. R. Inc. Two million twenty-four thousand seven hundred ninety-five dollars and ten cent. Two zero two four seven nine five. Point one zero N B West Contracting Company N period B period Contracting Company one hundred ninety eight thousand 
$1,617.15. Wait a minute. Why? Oh, I'm sorry. One million. $982,617.15. Gershison Construction Company, Inc. G E R. S H E N S O N Construction Company Inc. One million nine hundred eighty nine thousand two hundred twenty dollars. One nine eight nine two two zero point zero zero crop construction K R U P P construction two million two hundred seventy eight thousand five hundred ninety nine dollars and forty two cents two Two seven eight five nine nine point four two. With the low bidder, please meet with Miss Ben in the hallway. Thank you. Hearing number 8195. This hearing number 8195 is conducted pursuant to Chapter 8.24 of the Revised Code of the City of St. Louis. The applicant, Everybody Massage, CO, Connie Gress, is proposing to operate a massage establishment at 4224 Watson, Suite Number 2N. As outlined in Section 8.24 of the Revised Code of the City of St. Louis, the Board of Public Service may approve issuance of a license following a hearing if all the requirements for a massage establishment are met unless they find A. The operation as proposed by the applicant, if permitted, would not have complied with all the applicable laws including, but not limited to, the building, health, city planning, Housing, Zoning, and Fire Codes of the City of St. Louis. B. The applicant and any other person who will be directly engaged in the management and operation of a massage establishment has been convicted of Item 1. A felony not involving sexual misconduct with children, obscenity, keeping or residing in a house of ill fame, solicitation of a lewd or unlawful act, prostitution, or pandering. Item 2, an offense involving sexual misconduct with children. Item 3, obscenity, keeping or residing in a house of ill fame, solicitation of a lewd or unlawful act, prostitution, or pandering. The Board of Public Service, in its discretion, may authorize issuance of a license to any person convicted of any of these crimes in subsection B1, if it finds that the conviction occurred at least three years prior to the date of the application and the applicant has no subsequent convictions. The Board of Public Service has in its possession the following documents which are being introduced into evidence. Item 1, a certified copy of Chapter 8.24 of the Revised Code of the City of St. Louis. Item 2, a completed application for a massage establishment License for 4224 Watson, Suite 2N, including but not limited to the following. A. A plat and petition of consent for 4224 Watson, Suite 2N, submitted by the applicant. 
B. The applicant's fingerprints. Item 3. A memorandum from the zoning inspector finding that the plat and petition of consent for 4224 Watson, Suite 2N, is in due form. Item 4. A letter from the Interim Director of Health, Melba Moore, dated January 24, 2017, stating that the community sanitation staff inspected the facility at 4224 Watson, Suite 2N, and found no evidence of health code violations. Issuance of the license for a massage establishment was recommended. Item 5. A copy of the Certificate of Occupancy and Zoning issued to DBA Everybody Massage for 4224 Watson Suite 2N. Item 6. Copies of the public notices for this Board of Public Service hearing. Item 7. Copies of the letter sent from the Secretary of the Board of Public Service notifying the applicant of this Board of Public Service hearing. Item 8. A copy of the Missouri Masseuse Therapist License for Miss Connie Gress. The Board of Public Service will swear in and hear from the representatives of the city departments, followed by the applicant and those in support of the application. The Board will then allow those in opposition, if any, to address the Board. Your testimony is being recorded. When you come forward, please state your name and address and be sworn in. As you testify, please direct your comments to the Board and not to those in the audience. Members of the audience are asked to remain silent and not coach the witnesses. During your testimony, members of this board may have questions for you. Following this hearing, the board will proceed with its regular agenda. Following the conclusion of the regular agenda, the board will deliberate, discuss, and vote on this hearing. The board asks the representative of the Department of Health to please come forward and be sworn in. I do. State Zachary Krug. And your title, please. Environmental Health Supervisor. And did you perform an inspection of the proposed massage establishment located at 4224 Watson Suite 2N? I didn't, but the inspector couldn't be here today, um, so I was here to present the letter that's already been that uh, Community Sanitation did perform an inspection on the facility and found no health code violations or concerns. And you've determined that the proposed establishment complies with all the applicable health, safety laws, and regulations promulgated by the Director of Health? I do. Is it your recommendation that a license be issued to the applicant to establish, uh, operate this proposed establishment? Does the board have any further questions? Thank you very much. The board asks Representative of the Office of the Zoning Administrator please come forward and be sworn in. I do. State your name for the board, please. Uh, Bob Gordy, Zoning Plan Examiner for the City of St. Louis. Okay. And did you review the completed plat and neighborhood consent petition submitted by the applicant for the proposed massage establishment? I did not. That would be the job of the zoning inspector. And I'm not sure if she was supposed to be here today or not, but apparently she isn't. Okay. Um, did you determine the neighborhood consent petition complies with the requirements? Again, that would have been the job of the zoning inspector. Okay. Is it your recommendation that the license be issued to the applicant? Uh, well, I understand we issued an occupancy permit already. Is that uh, correct? You mentioned that one of the items was an occupancy permit that had been issued. And if that's the case, then that would have signified zoning approval, previous zoning approval of this. Okay. Thank you. Does the board have any further questions? Yeah, just, just to clarify, so you're saying that the issuance of the uh, occupancy permit, which does fall within your purview, termination was made that the plat and, and petition was adequate? Uh, typically, we won't even accept an, op <clears throat> excuse me, accept an application for an occupancy permit until it has been determined that the plat and petition is adequate. That's our standard operating procedure. 
So by, by issuing the occupancy permit, that's an indication to you that Platt and Petition in most cases, I can't speak specifically on this because I wasn't involved with the application, but like I say, it is not our uh, practice to even accept an occupancy permit application, let alone approve one, until the petition has been verified by the uh, zoning inspector. You will. Any further questions from the board? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So for the record, for the board, we have a memo in the application dated December 16th, 2016 from Myra Turner, the zoning inspector, and she has reviewed and completed the Platt Neighborhood Petition Consent Review, and she does, uh, it is in due form, and recommends approval. The board asks the applicant to please come forward and be sworn in. I do. Would you state your name for the board, please? Connie Gruss. And how many employees, if any, will you have? Um, I'm not going to have any employees. They'll be independent contractors. Okay. And do does everyone who will be a masseuse or a massage have their Missouri State massage therapist license? Yes, I have originals. Okay. All have, of those. Have you completed a police record check for the purpose of this application? Yes. And what was the result of that? For myself, I, it was fine. I did the... Thank you. Fingerprints and. And I would just want to walk through the following items just to make sure you're clear on them. Have you read and will you be able to comply with all the provisions of Chapter 8.24 of the Revised Code of the City of St. Louis specifically? Do you understand that as an operator of this massage establishment that you are at all times responsible for the orderly conduct of the establishment and the acts of any agents, servants, and employees in the operation of the establishment? Yes. Okay. Do you understand that every portion of the proposed massage establishment shall be kept in clean and operated in a sanitary manner? Yes. And finally, will you be able to comply with all the provisions of the operating regulations for a massage establishment as provided in Section 8.24.130 of the Revised Code? Yes. Okay. Does the Board have any further questions for the applicant? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. At this time, if there's anyone in support of the proposed establishment that wishes to testify, please come forward and be sworn in. Seeing none. If there's anyone in opposition to this proposed establishment that wishes to testify, please come forward and be sworn in. Seeing none. The matter concerning hearing number 8195 is now closed and submitted. The board will deliberate the matter following the regular agenda items. Can you call the roll, please? Director Scoby is excused. Director Rundy? Here. Director Hayes is excused. Director Roth? Here. Director Moore? Here. Director Gray? Here. And President Bradley? Here. We have a quorum. I'll call the main order. From the President, Supplemental Agreement Number 2 to PSA Number 1149, Water Distribution System Model, St. Louis Water Division. Recommends approval. From the Director of Public Utilities, recommendation that the board declares as emergency action labor and materials to inspect, clean, repair, and clean 600 horsepower pump motor at our primary raw water pumping station at Chain of Rocks facility. From the Director of Public Utilities and Streets, joint recommendation that the following permits for Spectrum Charter be approved subject to certain conditions as follows to install underground coax cable to a customer at 3801 Connecticut. Cut two feet deep off two feet by 20 feet, open cut from base of pole in rear of 3801 Connecticut in a westward direction. Turn south until customer property and board to the building. Spectrum Charter to install underground coax cable to, to a customer at 1408 South 10th Street. Cut a two feet deep by two feet by two feet pothole 
at the base of pole in rear of 1413 10th Street, bore in eastbound direction following utility easement to pole on east side of South 10th Street. Starting at utility pole on the north side of Buchanan at Alley, travel east along north side of Buchanan to utility pole at the northwest corner of North Broadway and Buchanan. Turn and travel south going under Buchanan along the west side of North Broadway. Recommendation that the following permits for charter communication be approved as follows. Starting at the rear of 1627 Washington Bore West on Lucas, Lucas 160 feet to existing manhole at 1700 Lucas. Recommendation that the following AT&T Missouri permits be approved subject to to certain conditions. To access Splice at 717 Barton and Board Trench along Barton and South on 7th Street, west on Victor to 2516 South 9th Street, I'll work to cut around copper cable for vacancy of alley and lane closure will not be, be needed. Bore and place a fiber cable from existing handhold at the front of 6607 Chippewa to side of 6607 Chippewa. Recommendation that the following permits for Southwestern Bell Telephone Company doing business as AT&T be approved subject to certain conditions. Starting at front of 1115 South Newstead and place handhold over existing fiber cable in grass one feet off edge of pavement. Place two inch conduit a East across South Newstead in alley behind Swan, one feet off edge to pavement in alley at rear of 4331 Swan to 4352 Manchester. And begin at Manhole at the rear of 6105 Delmore, trench in alley from Manhole to east two feet wide by 20 feet long, where a new cable will pick up the subscriber-owned conduit and enter new construction building at 6105 Delmore. And start at existing manhole 3041, which is located 29 feet west of Howell on south side of Goodfellow. Place a fiber cable out of man manhole number 3041 west to north side of Goodfellow to the right-of-way line to provide service to Bank of America at 9075 Goodfellow. Recommendation that permit for Union Electric Company doing business as Amory, Missouri be approved subject to certain conditions as follows. To install conduit on the north side of Locust, west of 9th Street. And to install two new poles, remove two <coughs> poles and replace three poles, install 160 feet of conduit in the alley and install 120 feet conduit along the curb in the street at 4101 Laclede. From the Director of street, Streets, recommendation that the following be approved. An affidavit for petition number 6842 SSM SLUH Inc. To vacate, to vacate Rucker Street from Grand Avenue westwardly 805 Point seven zero plus and minus point two five feet to a point in the city of St. <coughs> Louis, Missouri. And recommendation that petition number <coughs> six eight four three for SSM SLUH Inc. to vacate the fifteen foot wide alley in City Block twenty one eighty one North as bounded by LaSalle vacated, motored, hickory and spring, the remaining thirty feet section of Motorart from Hickory to the north line of the alley in City Block 2181 North, Hickory Street from Spring eastwardly 749.07 plus or minus 0 .06 feet to a point in the City of St. Louis. Recommendation that permission, per, petition number 6844 for SSM SLUH Inc. to vacate the remaining 22 210.625 plus or minus 0 .015 feet of the 15-foot wide alley in City Block 2181 South is bounded by Hickory Grand, Rucker, and Spring in the City of St. Louis. From the Director of Public Safety, Joint Recommendation, oh, I'm sorry, now oh, Joint Recommendation that the following festival permits 
be approved as follows. Empower, Empower Fest, April 22, 2017, at 14th Street Mall in the Old North St. Louis. And Bark in the Park, May 20th, 2017, at Forest Park, Cricket Field, and Streets Within the Park. Lindenwood Park Music Concerts, May 28th, June 25th, and August 20th, 2017, at Lindenwood Park, at the north end of Utility Building in Panora, between Jamieson and Pranther. Now we have the conditional use. Good afternoon, Mr. President, members of the board. I'm Bob Lordy, and I'll be representing the Building Commissioner uh, Office at today's meeting. And pursuant to board order number 766, we would like to transmit recommendations for the following conditional use agenda applications. Approval with conditions is recommended for eight applications. 4814 Washington, 4649 Carter, 5615 through 25 Hampton, 2800 Indiana, 3854 Washington, 5363 through 65 St. Louis Avenue, 2329 Tennessee, and 7527 through 29 Michigan. We request that these recommendations be approved as submitted. Are there any questions from the board on the conditional uses? Seeing none, I'll take a motion, please. Move to approve conditional use permits as recommended. Second. Moved and seconded for approval. Can you call the roll, please? Director Scobie is excused. Director Rundy? Aye. Director Hayes is excused. Director Ross? Aye. Director Moore? Aye. Director Gray? Aye. And President Bradley? Aye. Conditional uses are approved. Hearing number 8195, which is Everybody Massage, 4224 Watson, Suite 2N. I'd like to open the floor for discussion. Discussion? I'd ask for a motion, please. Are, are we considering the issuance of a uh, operating permit? Is that the act we would be? We are issuing an operating permit. That's correct. Well, I would move to approve the issuance of an operating permit for the applicant. Everybody, must second. Okay. Moved and seconded for approval. Can you call the roll, please? Director Scobie is excused. Director Rundy? Aye. Director Hayes is excused. Director Roth? Aye. Director Moore? Aye. Director Gray? Aye. And President Bradley? Aye. Approved. Turn your attention to our meeting minutes from last Tuesday, March 14, 2017. Are there any questions or comments on the meeting minutes? Seeing none, I'll take a motion, please. I move to accept. Previous. Second. Moved and seconded for approval of the minutes. Can you call the roll, please? Director Scobie is excused. Director Rundy? Aye. Director Hayes is excused. Director Roth? Abstain. Director Moore? Aye. Director Gray? Abstain. And President Bradley? Aye. Minutes are approved. Today's agenda. Are there any questions or comments on the agenda? <clears throat> so you now take a motion, please. Move to accept the agenda. Second. And second for approval. Can you call the roll, please? Director Scobie is excused. Director Rundy? Aye. Director Hayes is excused. Director Roth? Aye. Director Moore? Aye. Director Gray? Aye. And President Bradley? Aye. Today's agenda is approved. Motion for adjournment, please. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Meeting adjourned. I need to grab everybody for just one minute. You are All right. Hey. <laughs> Just for a minute, just real quick. Yeah, it's real quick. If I can get the first quarter of it. So, okay.